Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler and in this video I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to update your hummingbird fish finders to the most recent firmware, get you some new features, fix some bugs. Stick around. Alright guys, not a whole lot required for this. Of course you are going to need a Humminbird fish finder. You're going to need a micro SD card or a standard SD card depending on what your fish finder takes. And you will need an SD card reader connected to your computer. The firmware update files are available free of charge on Humminbird's website. I'm going to get everything hooked up. We'll show you guys just how easy those are to get. We'll copy that to an SD card. Then I've got a Humminbird Helix 7 side imaging gen 2 model back here we're going to update it all right guys as you can see we're on the humminbird website humminbird.com and this is where we go to get the firmware updates once the website has loaded up all you need to do is go up to the support tab it will drop down a menu go to software updates click on that allow it to load there and scroll down it's going to say software updates for fish finders this is where you need to know your model number in the case of this video we're going to be up updating mine that is a Humminbird Helix 7 Chirp SI GPS G2 we'll find that we'll click on it and it will bring up the software update page at the very top of the page it's going to say released on and give a date And then it'll have a description of the firmware, starting with any new features. It will outline any new features included in the software update, give you a little bit of information about those, talk about what they do. As you scroll down, it will talk about general fixes, any kind of problems that the thing is fixing. The software prerequisites, it will tell you what you need. Like I said, an, basically an SD card, an SD card reader. It does give you printed instructions on how to perform the software update. There is a video put out by Humminbird and of course the download link. We'll go ahead and click the download link. I'm using Firefox so we'll go ahead and hit OK on save file. And up in the top right corner of my screen there is a little progress bar. We'll click there. Once that finishes up we're all set. We can close Firefox and copy everything over. Alright guys, the file has downloaded. I have the downloads window open. What I've done is right clicked on the file that I just downloaded, hit copy. This window here is for the SD card I have connected to the computer. Right click, hit paste. You'll see the progress bar come up and once that's completed you'll see the Humminbird firmware update file has been copied to that particular SD card. We're ready to remove the SD card from the computer, take it out to the shop, and get it put in the unit for the update. Alright guys, we've got the Helix 7 powered up. It's running in demo mode out here on my workbench. Running it off of a 12 volt DC power supply. Uh, first thing we need to do, we need to take our SD card slot cover off there and we'll use the corner of it to pull out that card. Currently right now it's got a Navionics card in it. We'll set that to the side and now we're going to take our 2 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card, the one that we copied our update to. We'll get it put in the side there. And as soon as we pop that card in, it's going to come up with this uh, confirmation. It said uh, confirm replacing the software on this unit will restore the factory defaults. Losing power during this process may corrupt the unit. Basically turn it into a brick and require shipment to Humminbird Service Center which is not covered under the warranty. 
Replace software version 1.9 with software version 2.1. 1. They have done. It's got a no and a yes. We're going to hit the right arrow to tell it to confirm. Now this is where it gets tricky. I'm going to zoom in on this. This was done for a reason by Humminbird. It says confirm. Abort software update to version 2.11. Now if you were to hit yes, which is what you would think here, that would actually abort the software update. So we're going to tell it no, we don't want to abort, we want it to go ahead and update. And it's going to start the update process here. All this is automated. Unit rebooted on its own. And if everything went right, there we go. Current software version 2.11, MMC SD card version 2.11, no update required. That's basically saying that the software version in the, inside the unit in the internal memory matches the software that's on that card. So, now what we're going to do is power the unit down by holding down the power button for about five seconds. It's going to shut down. We'll go over, we'll pull our little update card out. We will put our 16 gig Navionics chart card back in. And we'll have a updated fish finder with the current factory software. All right guys, like I said, extremely easy project. Took us, only took us a few minutes to get it done. And now my Helix 7 side imaging Gen 2 is updated to the most recent firmware. It's picked up a few new features and there's been some bugs that have been fixed. Guys, I hooked mine up in here on my workbench just because it's cold outside and it gave me an area that I wasn't out in the wind. I was able to hopefully get you guys a good video on it. You could do that in your boat in the driveway. You could do it out on the water if you want. Just be careful not to lose your SD card. So, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If this has helped you out, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Maybe give it a share. Help somebody else out. And uh, if you do like my videos, please take a moment. Hit subscribe. If you're on a mobile device, hit the little bell. It's located on the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And that will give you a notification anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, I'm going to get this fish finder moved back out to the boat, get everything hooked back up the way it's supposed to be, and we're going to try to catch some fish. It's 2020, January 1st, and I haven't caught a fish yet. So we're going to try to do that here uh, real soon. So guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching Weekend Angler.